Walking down the street with your majestic Pyrenean mountain dog, you might think that the stares you're getting are only because of the size of the giant at the end of your leash. You might be right, but it's more owing to the fascinating history of these dogs that have been living on the French side of the Pyrenees mountains for centuries. Believe me, there are many things that you might not know about your dog. For example, some of you might not know that back in France, the common nickname for this giant is Patou, a reference to its role as a livestock guardian dog. So, in this video, we'll be telling you 5 startling facts about your Great Pyrenees. Number 5. Ancient Breed Watching your Patou messing around in the yard with the kids, it might surprise you to learn that this is a very ancient breed. Regarded as a traditional breed, it's even considered to be descended from the same source as the Pyrenean Mastiff, another large livestock guardian dog that lives on the Spanish side of the Pyrenees. Their ancestor is believed to be white livestock guardian dogs. It's believed to have turned up in the Pyrenean Mountains along with its owners, who were most likely shepherds around 3000 BC. In fact, they can be traced to their ancestors who were mountain dogs that lived in Asia Minor more than 11,000 years ago. It's amazing that such a breed has been around for so long. Before we continue, make sure to check the links in the description. We found the best deals for online dog training, dog supplies, pet insurance, and more. What are you waiting for? Number 4. Bred to be Guard Dogs From our early entry, it's fair to say that it spent many if not all of those years being a livestock guardian dog, protecting sheep from wolves and bears that lurked around the Pyrenees Mountains considering that it's almost as large as the Eurasian wolf. This was a perfect job for the dominant breed. Furthermore, the breed is known to be territorial, which makes it perfect for protecting the home and the family. No doubt this breed was perfectly bred over the millennia to keep you, your family, and your livestock safe from harm. Number 3. Royalty Although you might think that the Great Pyrenees must have spent those years living a rustic life with peasants and shepherds on the mountainsides, this stopped being the case when it gained popularity among the French royalty and nobility during the Renaissance period. Following this, they made their way to the royal court, and by 1675, King Louis XIV declared them to be the royal dog of France. They even made it to Queen Victoria's court as well. You better respect this regal breed. Number 2. Nocturnal Perhaps the saying is true about the weight of the crown being heavy. Maybe the burden of the crown has the Great Pyrenees up all night. I'm just kidding, but this breed is indeed nocturnal by nature, and it probably has to do with the fact that they protected sheep at night. This makes them more suited as guard dogs even today than many other breeds out there. Number 1. Great House Pets Finally, despite living a nocturnal life taking down wolves and bears for years, the Great Pyrenees is an excellent house pet, known to be very tolerant and gentle with children alongside very loyal and devoted to their owners. Wary of strangers, as well, few might actually fully understand how great it is to own a Patou. Maybe now, as you watch the kids mess with the fur of this gentle giant, you might truly appreciate what a wonderful creature you have in the Great Pyrenees. With that, our video has come to an end here. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more pets and dog-related content. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.